and what life is really all about is freedom, about just releasing all of these programmings that we inherited through the body so that life, who we really are, our true nature, people call it presence, awareness, Christ, it doesn't matter. There is this non-programmable and non-individualized life force that makes up everything and that's who we really are and it doesn't have a body it doesn't have a way to operate in the material world so it uses this body to experience life and the more we can clean up the inherited programming you your true nature has a free body to operate through and that's then really exciting because then you're no longer you know if you if your true nature has a sense go right and a programming says no it's too dangerous you can't go there or no this person will hurt you don't don't because of whatever memory you're carrying you are not free right you are programmed you are not free you don't have the ability to really live fully in the way that you could because yeah. the programming continuously, you, you have a movement, you want to do this and choo, another door comes down and blocks yeah. you. That's just how life works. If we understand life works that way and it is our, you know, the, the journey in the material world is to really live freely. Okay, so let's just clean house. Let's just deal with cleaning the body up. So, you know, yeah. the, there's a free vessel then to move for life to move through and that's it. And that would immediately also, you know, dissolve all the problems, all of the fighting, all of the challenges, because it's all regurgitated. It's all old stuff. We keep, yeah. right? We keep regurgitating the old. Yeah. So if we clean up the past, have a clean and free vessel today, oh my goodness, what could be created tomorrow, right? Um, I want to reiterate something. My work it's very different from anything else that's out there because we are really looking where what you are dealing with started many generations ago because we are all programmed you know you have a particular hair color and eye color and body structure because that's where you got it from you got it from your ancestors right you got it from your mom and dad and that both lineages so it's the same with our thoughts. It's the same with our feelings. It's the same with our behaviors. It's the same with the choices we make, with the things that we are afraid of, that we are not afraid of, that we want to pursue, that we don't want to pursue. All of that is a combination of what already has happened in the past and was already lived out in the past. And you kind of got this very unique combination of that. And that makes you, you. It's not really who you are. You are the, the life force or the consciousness or awareness that is using what you think you are as a vehicle to operate in this world. But it is programmed. The whole thing is a package deal. And so when with my work, what we are doing is we are kind of disassembling that package deal so to say we are not just working on that first layer of you and maybe your parents and you know the troubles and those kinds of things we are like going to right. the core very core of this package deal and yeah. where it was generated you know the trauma and the tragedies that weren't resolved that kind of kept being pushed forward generation of the generation and you just got a trace memory of it in your DNA so you're living certain things out without realizing why you do the things you do and yep. so and so what we are doing is you know I, I asked you to write the the family history so I go over the family history and you know I just operate from a field perspective I look at your family field and kind of I can see and sense the tentacles of how Oh, this trauma kind of does this to you now and this trauma there does this to you now and how it's combining, you know, kind of a knitting aspect of how it all comes together and knits together so you experience life the way you do today. So with regular constellation work, 
if it's done on location, so in a group setting, uh, you can deal with one present issue and you go in one direction, yeah? Because you only have so much time, you have all of these uh, representatives involved, right? Everybody has their own feelings and, and movements that have to be dealt with. So you can really only go from, like if we're dealing with your sense of not being able to pick a man that's really supporting you, right? So we can only look in one direction. But you may have it from here, you may have it also from here, you may also have pieces from there, right? So in a constellation work setting, you can't really ever get to the very bottom of an issue because of time constraint and the location constraint of how many people you can deal with at a time. Mm -hmm. Now, the work I do is I look at what you send me and the intention for how you want to change, what you want to change in your life, the programming, right? What keeps you repeating the same thing over and over that doesn't work, right? So with that in mind, that's my focal point. I then scan what you write and then I see, oh, it's connecting here with the grandma, it's connecting here with the grandpa, it's connecting here with the great grandma, right? So I do this connecting um, of the different traumas that happened in the past that you carry today in your body, memory, mental, emotional, instinctual programming. And so in my work then, we attack all of them at once. So we are pulling like this root out from the very bottom. We say, okay, this today is the issue from up here, but it has tentacles that go all over the place into the past, right? So we are pulling from the top, but we are pulling all of them out. Like, that's what we're doing. We're not just going, we're not just pulling one root. We're pulling as many as possible at the same time, right? So we're doing this movement and through the inner constellation work through which I'll be leading you, we'll address all of these different traumas that weren't resolved in the past. And they can be resolved in one hour, hour and a half, however long we are gonna, you know, are moved to do this healing work today for you. So they're all gonna be resolved in the past, which means there is no longer a tentacle towards you anymore because it's been released. The trauma that kind of created an energetic entanglement towards you that you inherited yeah. with your body, when the trauma is released, the tentacles releases automatically. So the energetic connection of made you think a particular way or choose in a particular way just won't be there anymore. So it's not like we're changing something negative to something positive, which is what usually healing work is about. We're not doing that. We are going in, we are resolving, helping the ancestors energetically heal something that they couldn't heal in the past, which then kind of generated this echo, or this wound, energetic wound, that has to then be carried forward in the family system in the hope to be resolved. And so when it's resolved, there isn't an energetic, you know, wavelength coming to you anymore. So you're free. So my work is truly work about freedom. It's not about changing negative to positive, you know, working with affirmations and creating a new kind of a structure now out of which you then live. We are resolving yeah. this, you know, this programming you inherited. So then who you really are, the awareness, the presence, the consciousness, the life force, has then a more free body to operate through. So you won't be pulled anymore to certain people because you know what pulled you before towards this person so you could maybe reenact something so something could be healed. You just won't even see that person suddenly in your viewpoint because, you know, you are now free. You now have a much more open, um, you know, consciousness through which you can operate. So you'd be automatically pulled towards people you may not have seen before because you were just pulled there according to that particular programming. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, yes. so my work is very different. I wanted to explain again how I work, what we're doing, 
what the outcome will be. And so in the process of pulling these various roots out that we'll be addressing with this particular issue you presented uh, me with that you want to work on and heal today, um, there may be ones that we can't get to and I'll explain to you afterwards which one I think we can't get to because it has a different twist to it and piling too many traumas, healing traumas on at once you know, could disrupt an actual real healing movement to take place. So that's why I offer the 42 week program, right? So we could address all of these different issues at once. But if you would do regular constellation work, you would have to set up many more constellations to get at it anyway. Mm -hmm. And if you would go to regular therapy or regular healing work, you wouldn't even address any of these to begin with, right? Sometimes when we release one issue, like the most pressing one, it makes room that we can kind of drop down to another lower level programming. And the way, the way my work works and what I have recognized from my, own, um, from my own process and by working with people. So we start at the personal level to release the programming. And then we go deeper into the family, which we already are doing. And then after that, uh, family stuff will drop into the collective, which is how women operate versus men. For instance, the collective, the collective of mother, the collective of being a businesswoman, the collective of being a human being on this earth. So there's many collective dynamics that we're also tied into at the same time. But you can get to it until you kind of go through the layers, the, yeah, the mm -hmm. individual, the family, uh, you reach the collective and underneath the collective is then the survival instinctual which are the hardest to break which is you know the automatic sense of fear and terror for you know dying losing your body being injured all of that we are addressing all of them at the same time because I hold the awareness that we are going to release all of these layers I'm just mentioning it also because you may notice as we have cleared up to this one, which has gone down through the different tentacles into your family system, you may suddenly drop to another thing that surfaces that always was there. You just couldn't recognize it before. It just didn't bother you because it was covered by something more superficial. And then I would recommend if you want to deal with it and release it, just so you know, it may happen that something else shows up that's on a deep, deeper level. Mm -hmm. And you can then, you know, deal with it on your own because I've explained it to you and you kind of will know what to do with it from our work that we are doing now. And if you need help, you can always reach out. Yeah. Okay. So that in my work, what I want to help people with is freedom and freedom basically from clearing the memory that we inherited from the body, from the mother and father line coming together. That's just how life works. You know, all animals carry whatever their, their, you know, their, 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 their previous generations brought forth. You know, we have these bodies that look like our ancestors and parents because that's what we inherit. So to me, the way life really works and what life is really all about is freedom, about just releasing all of these programmings that we inherited through the body so that life, who we really are, our true nature, has a free body to operate through. And that's then really exciting because then you're no longer, you know, if, you, if your true nature has a sense, go right, and a programming says, no, it's too dangerous, you can't go there, because of whatever memory you're carrying, you are not free right? You are programmed. You are not free. You don't have the ability to really live fully in the way that you could because yeah. the programming continuously, you, you have a movement, you want to do this and another door comes down and blocks yeah. you. That's just how life works. If we understand life works that way and it is our, you know, the, the journey in the material world is to really live freely. Okay, so let's just clean house. Let's just deal with cleaning the body up so you know yep. that there's a free vessel then to move for life to move through and that's it 
And that would immediately also, you know, dissolve all the problems, all of the fighting, all of the challenges, because it's all regurgitated. <laughs> it's all old stuff. We keep, yeah. right? We keep regurgitating the old. Yeah. So if we clean up the past, have a clean and free vessel today, oh my goodness, what could be created tomorrow, right? 